Hi, families. Welcome to Ash Wednesday. Uh, it's crazy that Lent is already here. And I was reflecting on really what Lent is. I think growing up, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of just what, it, what are you going to give up for Lent? You know, that was really the, the talk of Lent. You know, what are you going to give up? And, and I remember, I remember one year trying to give up Brussels sprouts. Uh, and the funny thing is, is that my family never even cooked Brussels sprouts. Uh, but I knew that I didn't want them. Uh, and so I tried to give that up for Lent um, because it was the easiest option. It was easier than giving up something that, uh, you know, I, I really didn't want to give up, like like candy or, or TV or whatever it was. I didn't want to give up stuff that was going to make me uncomfortable. And I think there's a, there's a sliver of, of what Lent really is uh, when, when you look at that. Um, I think that uh, it's, it's something that, we don't really like talking about. We don't want to be uncomfortable, um, but it's important to remember why we're doing it. Uh, you know, without the why, what we're doing makes no sense at all. It just seems like like torture, really, especially for for kids. You know, why would I give up candy? Why would I give up uh, computer or or video games or TV or whatever it is? Uh, why? If there's no if there's no real good reason, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? And so I was reflecting on the why. Why do we do Lent? What, what is Lent and why does it matter? The reality is, is that on, on Ash Wednesday, and, and this year's gonna be a little bit different, obviously, because we can't, uh, we can't gather together in person to receive ashes. But on Ash Wednesday, when we receive ashes, uh, what the priest says now is repent and believe in the gospel. But what they used to say uh, and what they still, some still do say this, but what they used to say, what I remember them saying is, uh, remember that you are dust and a dust you shall return. And that sounds kind of weird, you know, uh, remember I'm dust, like dust makes me sneeze. That's what I think of when I think of dust. Um, but what, what they're really trying to say is that remember that one day you will die. And that's not something that we like talking about, but it's something that we need to remember. Because I know there's a lot of times where I live like I'm the most important person in the world. And, and I live like I'm going to live forever. I know that God's important. I know that there's some things that I need to change in my life. But I, I feel like, well, I have tons of time. I can do it whenever. The reality is, is that we don't know when the end is going to be. And, and so we need to remember what our goal is. Our goal is to get to heaven. With that in mind... I think about all the ways that I'm not getting closer to that goal. Because families, boys and girls, parents, the reality is that everything that we do either leads us closer to God or further away from God. Um, everything, there's, there isn't one thing. And, and you know, some things are smaller, but every everything that we do, there's either a big step or a small step closer to God or further away from him. Uh, and that means we're, we're either getting closer to our goal of heaven or not. And so Lent is, is a time that the church has set aside 40 days uh, to remind ourselves that we need to get to heaven, that, that our goal is heaven, that we can't do it alone. We need, God, we need God's help. But there are things that we can do to help us get closer to God. And that means sometimes getting rid of distractions. And that's, that's where the giving up thing came from. It's what are we going to do? to remove the distractions. It isn't like God is going to be more impressed if we give up more things. It isn't going to be like God is going to, uh, you know, oh, Johnny over there gave up 12 things. So, you know, he's way higher on the list of getting into heaven than little Sally who only gave up one thing. Uh, that's not how it works. But we all know there are things that that distract us, that take up time, that that don't really give us a whole lot of of good in our lives. There are things that distract us from doing good. There are things that distract us from uh, from getting closer to God. And so what are those things? What are those things in your life that are keeping you from getting closer to God? It doesn't have to be chocolate. Chocolate's an easy answer. But if you don't eat chocolate every day and it's not really distracting you, it's almost too easy of an answer. So think about it. What are those things that are distracting you that are keeping you from growing closer to God. And so once you've figured out what is keeping you from God, 
I encourage you to get rid of it for 40 days. And it will be hard. It, it, it isn't easy, but that's what it takes. You know, I, I think of like, I think of athletes who, you know, somebody who runs a marathon, a marathon is like 40 something kilometers. I can't get up tomorrow and be like, I'm going to run a marathon. I have to train for it. And that's hard. That is hard. It's going to take time and it's going to hurt a lot, a lot in my case. But if I want to achieve that goal, I, it takes work. It's the same thing with riding a bike or learning how to skate or, or getting good at math. You got to practice. You got to practice. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it hurts. And sometimes, you know, especially when, when like, I remember growing up doing homework, man, it took forever. And I missed out on a lot of things. Like my friends would play road hockey and, and they'd be out and having fun and, and I'd be doing homework. And it's hard because you're missing out and it's not as fun. But that's how you grow. That's how you, you get better at something is, is sacrifice, really. Um, and so that's what Lent is about. Lent is about getting rid of the things that are keeping us from God, that are keeping us from our goal of heaven. And so uh, families, boys and girls, I, I, I'm excited to journey with you uh, throughout Lent, through this, these next six weeks, these next 40 days uh, and six Sundays. Um, I'm excited to uh, to draw closer to God with you because here's the reality, boys and girls and, and families, is that is God is here. God is with you and God wants to be closer to you. The reality is that God is always right next to us. It's whether we are aware of it or not. It's whether we are are uh, are close to God it's whether we're listening for God. And and there's so many distractions that keep us from recognizing that God is with us and doing things in our lives, but he's there. And so I hope that this Lent is an opportunity to, uh, to draw close to God uh, and to recognize that whatever it is that we're giving up or, or doing or, or whatever, that really it's God doing that work in us. All it takes is our yes, our willingness, and, and God is going to do the rest. God's going to do all the hard work. Uh, and, and before you know it, you'll be drawing closer to God. And so thank you for joining us uh, on this journey. And uh, I can't wait for what comes next. Uh, we have a lot of great things uh, uh, going on during Lent. Um, and so uh, I'm praying for you. Uh, please pray for me. Uh, we're, we're all in this together. And Lent isn't easy for anyone. Uh, you know, I've, I've had a few more Lents than some of you, uh, but it doesn't get any easier. Uh, so please pray for me. Uh, and I'm praying for you. Uh, and, and above all, uh, let's, let's pray that God will help us because without God, we're, we're hopeless. Uh, so God bless.